Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to a new lesson of Masters of Unity. Today I'm going to talk about I enumerators, which are great. So what are these things called I enumerators? Well, I could start talking about how they, how they enumerate things and their functions like move to, reset, current, but actually most of the time when I use AI enumerator, I use it to keep a delay to something. I use it to, so actually if you're a beginner like me, uh, don't worry about the technical definition because the use we usually give it is very straightforward. Make a delay or wait for something. Most of the time that's how you will use it too. So if we go to Unity and I have a new project, I'm going to show you how I use them. So I'm going to create, I'm going to simply set a UI and I don't want to have a background so I'm going to only solid color and I don't like this blue I actually hate it so I'm going to get something like pink or something like that yeah I like pink and I'm going to quickly set the canvas to um screen of the screen space camera I'm going to drag my main camera here and I want to scale with screen size now text I'm going to give it a line and I'm going to auto input text so now I have to move I'm going to put the text in that I'm going to change it so yeah that's it. That's all we have to do. And now I'm going to make what we're going to do is going to make a timer. So usually you want to have a script that control these kind of things. I usually call it game controller. So I'm going to create a game controller script. And I'm going to add it to the main camera. So we have game controller and I saw a lot of people doing the timer with the update and I really don't like doing that because you have a lot of overhead uh, and you have a lot of wasted resources because you're still calling your function every frame so what I do is make a I enumerator function it's the type of function we're creating so I'm going to give it a name I'm just going to call it timer routine I like to add the routine keyword at the end of my I enumerators because you will see why in a few seconds. So we have this and we have to make a oh yeah, we're going to use the Unity UI, so I'm just going to copy this dot UI. We need to use the UI. Whenever we want to use the UI, we'll have to include this. Okay? So I'm also going to make a public text and this is timer text okay so the timer text is going to be stored here we're going to assign it later on we need a variable and I'm going to make it a float mm, and I'm going to call it um, current time okay and this this can be private we don't need to make it public and I'm going to start at zero. So now what we want to do here is edit this variable and show it, show the value in the timer text. I'm going to create one more variable and I'm going to call it, I don't know, speed or step. Yeah, step sounds better. And I'm going to set this to 0 0.1. So basically, this is the time we wait and then the time we add to the current time so we want we wait 0 0.1 seconds and then we add 0 0.1 seconds and we change the text so it's very simple to wait for something we use the word yield return and for this case we want to wait for an amount of time so for doing that we need to type new wait for seconds and in this way for seconds we we type our step or actually the amount of seconds we want to wait we can wait for 60 seconds we can wait for 0 0.2 seconds so we wait so when the this function comes here it's going to wait for this then we're going to add current time plus equals to step so what plus equals is is just add this to the current amount that it represents so it it's always adding up and finally 
we want to get timer text dot text and set it equal to current time dot to string I want to convert it to a string and I think if we type uh, like n2 here we're going to get only two decimal places on our text so that's a little tip that you can use later on so now before I start this I have to assign my text here and also I have to because this is a function but we don't call it like this we don't just call it like that so the reason I always add the routine keyword at the end is because we use a function called start coroutine. So start a coroutine and what is the coroutine? Is the timer routine. So I'm going to add the timer routine here. And you will see we'll have a problem with this, but let's try it first. I play and we got 0 0.10 and we stop there. So this actually needs to repeat itself, right? So we're not repeating it. And for repeating it, we can we can use this function again at the end here. Start call routine again so it runs once and then it calls itself again and runs, runs, runs. But what I like doing is, for example, I'm I usually use a while loop. And be careful because sometimes your computer will get frozen if you use a while loop incorrectly. So what I can do here is for example I want to run the timer for five seconds. So I'm going to set my current time is less than five. Well we're less than five I'm going to keep adding it until it's no longer I mean until it's equals or greater than five. So while this is true I'm going to keep repeating my timer. So if we now try it again, so that we have a timer. So um, you can see if I change this step to 0 0.01, it's going to be called much. It's going to be called many more times, much more times. How do you say that? Well, it's going to be called a lot more. And you see, it looks like those like usually time counters, chronometers, whatever they're called, we can do it in like different pace. I can even call it every two seconds or every one second. So then it's going to only change like one, two, three. And if you saw, if I didn't put anything here, I told you that and is going to help us make it better look better looking you see there is nothing here and if I were to break it like this sometimes it goes like all crazy right it gets like so many decimal places so we want to make sure to avoid any problem that we format this correctly if I want three decimal places I'm going to add an N3 if I want one decimal place I'm just going to add an N1 alright so there's a lot of things you can do with a timer routine you can spawn things you can make some towers shoot something in a different amount of times uh, you can use the step you can make use a random number so it will go out at random uh, random delays so you can make a lot of things with uh, routines you can make animations so you do something and then wait for a few seconds then you do another behavior and then you can make many many things with i enumerators so start using it in your games start trying with them play around and if you have any questions remember you can always ask me you can send me a message and i will try my best to help you so Thank you very much guys for watching, uh, please remember to like and subscribe and I will see you next time, goodbye.